much as I need to earn your vulnerability, mm -hmm. you have to earn mine as well. So What's do you feel like men are the prize? No. Okay. I think women are supposed to be. Okay. I think women are supposed I to be I just knew you was going to say yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not that. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah. I wanna you know how we say um, Hollywood, and some people say Hollywood fucked up relationships. Like it set so many unrealistic expectations and shit like that. One of the expectations Hollywood set <clears throat> is this idea that a man has to work for a woman. Mm -hmm. like, work for a woman. Remember Deliverance from Eva? Yeah. Um, good movie. LL Cool J's character, yeah. Very LL good movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Agree with it. A thousand percent. I'm just <laughs> But even LL Cool J's character, who was supposed to be like the quintessential ladies' man, mm -hmm. when he first met Eve or Eva, Eva? Gabriel Union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabriel yeah. Union's character, she was still kind of like, you ain't nobody. You got to show me, right? So. Unfortunately, I think because of that program and a lot of dudes here, most women aren't even blunt enough to say, I don't feel a connection. But even the women who say, I don't feel a connection, some men hear it as, oh, you just need to try harder. No, that's not what we mean. At least that's not what I mean. I mean, we can stop. Mm. Like, we don't need to go on another date. Mm. It's not, that wasn't the hint for you to try harder. That was... I'm trying to spare you because I don't want you to feel like you spent a whole bunch of money and time on me and you got nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I guess it de I guess it depends on the woman and, and maybe the age and the mind space that she's in, mm -hmm. where you might continue to um, let her court that. you. I don't believe in that at all. What? Like, it's, it's trying harder? Nah, I don't believe in that shit at all. I like love being easy. If we don't just flow, if I if I can't just kick it with you, like if I can't be friendly with you, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to like audition, yeah, nah, I'm too old for that. So you like lazy? That's, that's not lazy. That is lazy. That is absolutely not lazy. In a in a way, it is. I would say that that's kind of lazy. Explain. Because you're not applying pressure. I don't feel like that's not a lot of energy. Women, uh, what a woman can give to a man in return when she feels like you know. That they really have something, mm -hmm. I think that that's like ten times more than. So if you put that effort in, she's mm -hmm. going to repay you. This this is what I mean by that. It's one thing um, working hard when you've been drafted to play for a team, right? Mm -hmm. Versus <clears throat> literally being shit on by that team. I'm gonna work hard when I go to that next team so you can see everything you missed out on. So I'm not talking about That's like, petty. It's a little petty. Yeah. It's a little petty. Your smile means you appreciate that. But what I mean by, <laughs> what I mean by that is it's one thing if like the pressure is reciprocated, right? Like mm -hmm. in as much as I'm, you know, showing you that I want you, you're also showing me that you want me. But the one sided pressure, no, I'm not a fan of that. Like you got to keep me motivated with this pressure. But if if I'm just literally trying to American Idol audition for you to oh like gosh. me, oh my gosh, here we go with this I'm not audition doing that. word again. I don't like to audition. Tap dancing, audition, none of it. I don't like these words. None of it. <laughs> like what, what would be a better word? What would be a better word? It's, it's defensive. Like this is the mindset that you men have. Like y'all feel like. <laughs> Kevin Samuels really did a number on y'all. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> but no, um, like y'all really feel like if you're vulnerable and put effort, genuine effort and energy into pursuing a woman, mm -hmm. you're a simp, you're tap dancing, and you're auditioning. No, mm -hmm. you just like a woman and you're pursuing her. That's it. It's, it's that simple. It's not that simple. It is that simple. It's not that simple. And if she likes you, she's going to return that energy. Mm -hmm. And if she don't, she's going to tell you that she should tell you there's no connection. And you can move on. Mm -hmm. But y'all don't even want to be vulnerable enough to put yourself in a position where you're pursuing the woman like that.
No, I, I believe men should pursue women. That's not what I'm saying. But not to the point of auditioning and tap dancing. It's auditioning and tap dancing when the um, energy is not reciprocated. That's it. If the energy is reciprocated, none of what I said matters. Okay. I'm talking about... The problem is... Matter of fact, I was doing an interview with this married couple. Um, and I was... I asked the wife, I said, what was the thing that surprised you the most about men after being married for as long as you have? And she said, I didn't know men had feelings. And she broke it down and said, um, men in my family, men that I grew up with and things like that, they just, the only feeling you saw them exhibit was anger, but you didn't know, oh, his feelings are hurt. You didn't know, oh, um, this, this and that. And unfortunately, I think especially in our community, we don't think men have feelings. We think men should be strong and stoic and the whole nine. And I think that too. However, when you're seeing these stories of men being fucked over, when you're seeing these stories of men, and and sometimes what's interesting is sometimes it's like a dude is traumatized because he was cheated on. And sometimes it's he was the one who was the side dude. And he's oh, watching, he's like, this dirty bitch, bro. I'm still hit. Yeah. But this, you know what I'm saying? So men have gotten to the point now, and you talked about Kevin Samuels, where, and I think rightfully so, men think we are also valuable. I'm also valuable. I should also be wanted. I should also be desired. I shouldn't just have to. <laughs> Let it come out. Now it's all, all coming out. <laughs> let's see. We'll talk about it. I shouldn't have to put all my cards on the table. Uh-huh. And as much as I need to earn your vulnerability, mm-hmm. you have to earn mine as well. So What's do you feel like men are the prize? No. Okay. I think women are supposed to be. Okay. I think women are supposed I to be I just knew you were going to say yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not that. Yeah. I'm reasonable. Okay. Like, you know, you look at history, a lot of wars are fought because of women. A lot of our motivation to do anything worth a damn is a woman, whether it's our mother, a woman that we're pursuing, whatever the case may be. So I think women are supposed to be the prize. However, men are supposed to be considered valuable as well, because in our world now, a lot of the conversations, oh, I don't need a man, not even to have a kid. Yeah. You know, so I think that's why the pushback is, oh, we're the prize. But I think what we're really trying to say is we're valuable. Y'all are going really far with that, though. Like Y'all are taking it to the extreme. Some people are, yes. Yeah. And I don't like those people. You don't? I do not. Okay. Yeah, I've actually, (laughs) I've beefed on YouTube a couple of times because of some of my stances. Mm -hmm. Like with, um, have you heard the term SYSBM? SYS? No. Yeah, SYSBM. Save Yourself Black Man. Okay. It's a movement... of a group of black men saying women in the United States are so bad that it's better for us to go elsewhere. Okay. I was beefing with them for a little while. They didn't like me because I was like, it's kind of cowardly, this, this, and that. But I also see where they're coming from. Like, I just try to be balanced in my analysis. What do you mean you see where they're coming from? Are we talking about American women in general or black American women? American women in general, but a lot of them are talking specifically about black American women. Mm. And part of the reason is because of their experience with their moms. Some of it is because of their experiences trying to date, their experiences with girlfriends. Um, And that's why, you know, even the term on your shirt, the black female delegation, I've been trying to have conversations with women so they could better empathize with men and understand that, oh, Nah, as much as y'all are going through it, we're going through it too, right? Like one of the um, married couples I interviewed as well, um, the husband was talking about his ex-wife. This was his second marriage. And his ex-wife stole like $30,000 from him. Mm. His ex-wife cheated on him and had a baby. His ex-wife had his son in a car seat without his seatbelt and got into a car accident and had his son around drugs. Like, but the thing is, because men are supposed to be so strong, you never hear these stories. Mm-hmm. So a lot of women just think that, oh, it's only women who are getting done wrong. 
But it's a lot of dudes who've gotten done terribly wrong, but because of pride, because of um, nobody really wanting to hear their story, you never hear that. So most people don't even know how to empathize with men. Even we don't know how to empathize with ourselves. Yeah. You know, so that's why these conversations are so in, important to me. I feel like y'all should heal. Mm-hmm. And y'all have some trauma. And y'all we should both heal. do. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I think women are already more in tune with their emotions, though. Like, if I'm sad, I know I'm sad. I will cry. You said earlier you don't cry. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's why I say y'all need to heal. Y'all have trauma. We already know, like, when we're going through something. Here's what I'll say. Women are emotional exhibitionists. And this is what I mean by that. Displaying emotion and understanding emotion are two different things. Okay. A lot of women are good at displaying emotion. They're good at going from emotion to emotion. But as far as like acknowledging and identifying that emotion, some women are not good at it. So they'll cry and think they're crying about this, but it's really about that. But they haven't even thought about it. So really, they're just as bad as the person who won't cry. Because it's still misdirected. You know, men, on the other hand, a lot of times when we're when we're showing anger, it's really just sadness. Mm-hmm. But we don't know how to emote it properly. So it comes out as anger mm-hmm. or it's really just fear. Right. So we're both mixing it up, but it just looks like women understand their emotions better. Do you really think we just don't understand our emotions? I've interviewed a lot of women. Yeah. And then the thing with therapy as well, some people, and I know one of my shirts says, you don't need love, you need therapy. Mm -hmm. Some people need intervention. (laughs) Some people don't need therapy. Some people need it. Because what therapy is, is is giving you tools on how to manage and mitigate some of your issues. Right. Which is helpful for some people, but it actually exacerbates the problem for other people. Like some people need medication. Some people need, um, uh, what's it called? Different forms of therapy where it's like sound based or whatever the case might be. So it's not just as, and that's why whenever I hear people say, oh, women are just so much further ahead than men. I think it looks that way. Well, I mean, they're talking about like the women owned businesses and then like the women graduate. No, I'm talking about the emotional piece. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm talking about the emotional. I think it looks that way because you'll see women in therapy and this, this and that. Yeah. But some some of those women are some of the most problematic. Some of the ones who are the most defensive. You can't talk to them. You know, so it's, it's deeper than just doing the thing. It's also about doing the right thing. 